I'm Jim Crooks, the master blender for Firestone Walker's Barrel Works, and I'm here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So talking a little bit about the augmentation in recipe of uh, hopping, we started with a really low IBU in most of our recipes, and that helped promote the acidification of these beers and barrels. It would definitely promote lactic acid growth. We found that 10 IBUs was normally our sweet spot for where we would see a good production of lactic acid bacteria, and we're talking like Lactobacillus brevis or Delbrechii. When it came to you know, acid production, we didn't want to go just one direction with acid uh, in these beers. I, I felt like falling back to what the Belgians said there, that acid was just one part of these beers in the complexity, that there's a lot more the degree of flavor that can be derived from either the recipe or from the barrel or from just the maturation. So really to control that acid production, we started augmenting our recipes to have higher IBUs. And I would say we started low, above 12, maybe 15 to 17 in a lot of cases to see what the effects might be on the production long term of acid. And we even went as high as 25 in a few recipes to really see if we could suppress any acid growth. And long term effects of that are definitely seen. You can definitely control lactobacillus in the production of acid by having IBU, higher IBUs. But one thing to keep in mind is that in these beers, bitterness is somewhat of a concern if, if you're looking to use this beer down the, the road in an, a recipe that might involve nice fruit characteristics. So in terms of like maybe a, you know, if you're making a goose down the line, if it's a, if it's a spontaneous goose, hops are part of that recipe. There's a bitterness that definitely helps and is, is seen as an attribute. In a lot of cases, we were finding that the, the real hoppy beers, the bitterness and flavor of that, that hop and bitterness when, when added with a fruit character really conflicted the, the flavor of that fruit. So I would suggest that you're testing your, your hopping levels in these beers and that down the line when you, you, know, when you have a, a barrel that has a nice IBU to it, that before you're adding fruit to that barrel, that you would do a benchtop trial with some fruit or with maybe a puree to see how the f hop flavor conflicts or conjoins with that, that, that fruit flavor. One thing that, that we found was that in a mixed culture setting, like say three Bretts and you know four different lactobacillus cultures and pediococcus that the higher the IBU, it didn't have any effect on the acid production just because of the fact that PDO is, is hop tolerant. So that was a, a real you know, eye opener for us that you know, all of a sudden we were like, hey, if we really need to lower the acid of these beers, then we need to select what lactobacillus that we're using, make sure that we're not using a hop tolerant strain and that we're keeping the IBUs at a certain point. So I would say like, you know, flavor wise, 25 was about the upper echelon of what we felt worked in a sour beer because of the, the nature of, of tart and, and bitter. Those two flavors are on the opposite ends of the spectrum for sure. I can't say that we've ever correlated like a, a IBU a topper IBU that just basically stopped acid production in these beers. With regards to that, I, you know, Brettanomyces in, in its metabolism is producing acetic acid. To learn more about artful and intentional wild beers, click the link below.